Well, you know, in racing, sometimes the storybooks write themselves. And we've got another chapter right here. Park for it, everybody, in Victory Lane. Number 20, 21 machine with Racing Radio's on board. Familiar sponsor, Forker, as he makes his way out of this Woody race track. Kurt, last time I did an interview with you as a driver, I think it was a mini stock race down at Lanier National about 15 years ago. And we both had a lot more here than that. Yeah. Congratulations, buddy. Nice run there. He gave you everything you wanted, though. This thing was on a rail. First of all, how does it feel back in competitive action here at Rush? Oh, it feels good to, to know after being out of the seat for so long that you can get back in. But, man, this, this truck is just, it speaks for itself. It's awesome. You guys had a great race out there. Pastor gave you everything you wanted at the end, man. This was not a cruise to the finish by any strip. Oh, no, no. We were loose and, and you know, hats off to those guys. They were really, really hard on their program, and it is so good to see them having success like that. I mean, yeah, it was all over. Yeah, the brothers were coming, both of them, and uh, one fell off, 69 just kept coming. Like, you know, 44 went back, here comes the 69, they're swapping off, and you had a mirror full the entire time. How's the racetrack? How did, how did it all come back to you? When was the last time you were actually in competitive seat? I think I raced here in 2010. And that was a big stock or a truck? A truck. So how does it feel now back out here, now that the new configuration's underway? What's what's going through your mind right now? It feels, I mean, it feels good. The hat's off to Conrad. He bought the truck from us uh, a month or so ago, and uh, he was feeling a little under the weather. And, uh, man, I, I tell you, we've got some really exciting things in the future for Cody uh, with racing radios, and uh, it's, it's going to be awesome when we, when we roll out next time. And by the way, I talked to Cecil Flo last night. He told me to say hello to you. Oh, hello to you. They did a nice job. Mark, you beat Grayson last night in a big upset. So Cecil Flo said he's going to be back. But right now, the man of the out is Kirkwood.